Hey everybody, this is Bloody Hatchets, and I am back with another tutorial. This one's going to be on this push lawnmower, suggested by Dave Ventura. His link will be down below in the description. Go ahead and check him out, because every time I see a lawnmower, it's one of these kind that you sit down on. So why not have something that nobody else has? I looked on YouTube, and I only found one tutorial on this, but it was modded and on PC. I'm on PS4 now, so this right here will work on any console. It is so, so very simple to make. So let's go ahead and make this, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and put it right here. Cut this grass down. Now this will take up five armor stands, so you got to keep that in mind. So what we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and make a 3x3. Three three. Once you do that, go ahead and dig down another layer. So a total of two blocks. Alright, now once you have this 3x3 three three cut out too deep, go ahead and get your snow caps and put three layers on all the corners. Alright, now once you've got that, go ahead and get a block of choice and place the block of choice in between there just like this. Now this lawnmower will be facing that direction, so if you want it to be facing any other direction, you're going to want to put these here like this to be facing the other direction alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our cobblestone wall and do two right here and two right here alright guys now once you have something like this let's go ahead and come up I like to come up quite high that way I have a lot of room to mess with so come up about right here and what we're going to do now, guys, is go ahead and make ourselves a little platform. And what I like to do is take this one out, put a cobblestone wall, make it too tall, just like this. Now go ahead and put a block here and a block here. That'll help out when we go to push these into place. Now, this is where the tires come into place. So go ahead and put an armor stand facing into this block right here. So you got to face them like this. And now go ahead and put your regular uh, Steve heads on here. Now, come to find out, guys, this will work on all texture packs. It doesn't have to be the default or anything. So once you got this, guys, let's go ahead and get our regular piston, okay? And let's go ahead and face all four pistons into the armor stands like this, all right? And let's go ahead and do the, the back here, to the front, actually. So just... Put this on here this on here and now this part gets very important guys so if, when you go to power these up do not delete the redstone block first you need to delete the piston first because if not it will pull it back and it'll just all be screwed up so again do this do this do this do this and if you was to put the uh Redstone block in the middle to push both at the same time. Sometimes it kind of glitches out, so we got to keep that in mind too. So go ahead and do that there, and this is what you should have. All right, guys. Now once you've got that, go ahead and go down here, and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven layers with your snow caps right there in the middle. And once you've got that, go ahead and take out these blocks right here. Let them fall into place. And now what we're going to do is the engine. So let's go ahead and take our block and come up like this. Uh, again, I like to have a lot of room to mess with. So we're going to go ahead and take that block out that we have there. Take these out. Don't need them anymore. Keep your cobblestone wall there though because it will help out. And now what we're going to do guys is go ahead and put armor stand facing where the actual handle of the lawnmower is going to be. So if it's facing that way and the handle is right here, we're going to face the armor stand to it. Again, if it's facing that way, you're going to face the armor stand this way. All right, so once you've got that, go ahead and put your uh, wither skeleton skull on there and then go ahead and take this block out. Now, it should fall right into place. Go ahead and get rid of these cobblestone wall. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and finish this thing up. So let's go ahead and get a regular piston take these three blocks out face the piston into these blocks go ahead and power this up push those blocks in there go ahead and fill this in this way we should have on this side so let's go do right here 
Again, regular piston, three of them right here. Power these up. Pick this out, fill this in. And this is what you guys should have so far. So now, instead of pushing this grass block into this way, where the cobblestone wall is, it'll mess up, even though if you take out the cobblestone wall. So trust me guys, you're gonna have to come up and push the block down. So very carefully, take out that cobblestone wall. Be very careful. And once you've got this, then come up. Up on top. Something like this. And we're going to push this block down into this spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a regular piston. Face it down. Go ahead and power it up. And go ahead and go down one more time. Power it up once again. And then go ahead and delete the piston, then the redstone block. Put that there, and this is what you should have on this side. So right here, I'm gonna come up like this on top, right here, do the same thing. So come up like this, face this down, take that out, and power this up. Now, go ahead and come down here once again, face this down, take that out, and power it up once again. Again, delete the uh, piston, then the redstone block, and this is what you should have so far now. Now, notice the face is looking that way, and we're going to be pushing a upside down stair into it. Alright, so I'm going to be using these stone brick stairs. You guys can use any kind of stair that you guys want. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take it upside down like this. Alright, that'll be the handle, and go ahead and take your... Uh, piston and power this up like that and there you go so that's the handle and now let's go ahead and get a stone slab you guys can use any kind of slab you want and push this into here like that go ahead and delete this and this is what you should have so far so now go ahead and take any color carpet put it on top of there a little extra detail and then your choice of fence gate right here for the handles and go ahead and open them I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. I know some of you may want this in your city or anything like that. So if you do enjoy this guys, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys done this or not. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time.